So here we have the Peugeot 3008, so on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by hopping inside the car and running through some controls in there, first of all. Just briefly before we climb inside the car, I think it's well worth seeing the boot space. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors down here. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side there, uh, we have the speedometer. We have the fuel gauge for the car as well. And on the right-hand side, the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. In the middle, you can see uh, the digital readout for the speedometer and the total miles for the car, which are 29,424. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have controls for your stereo and for your phone as well. And over in the center is where you'll find the main touchscreen for the car. So um, you're on the audio menu at the moment. You can see we have various radio stations uh, that we're able to access from up on here. You can save or pre-save your favorites. Uh, and in terms of the different wave bands and ways of listening to music, we have DAB and FM radio, USB input. We have an iPod input, video input, and Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly as well. That is, of course, once you've paired your phone up to the car, uh, which you, again, uh, can do from the main menu. Below that, we have various controls uh, which you can use to access things that appear up on the main menu. So for example, if you hit that button just there, you will see that we've got Android Auto, Mirror Link, Apple CarPlay. Uh, we can also pair our phone by hitting that button. Uh, we've got various different car settings we can alter. Um, we've got satellite navigation. We've done a full video showing how Peugeot's sat-nav system works, which you can find on our website and YouTube channel. Uh, we can also make adjustments to our dual zone climate control up here as well. So we can adjust our passenger uh, driver temperature. We can adjust the direction the air is being distributed in. The fan speed, of course, you can turn it off or you can adjust it up and down from here. You can turn your air conditioning off, back on again, put it into auto. So all of those adjustments are made with the buttons here, including your uh, music adjustments as well. Uh, you can access that menu that we started on from there. We have our main volume for the stereo. Deadlock so you can lock the car doors from the outside and unlock them again. Heated rear screen, we can recirculate the air that's in the car. That button will divert the car's air conditioning to the front screen for you. Um, we have this nice fabric section, as you can see, that runs all the way through the center of the dashboard here. Plenty of storage down here, along with USB input and a 12 volt charging socket, and then a six speed manual gearbox for the car. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.